Hello my dear friends welcome back to Infigyan. Today in this video we have one very very interesting and challenging question from algebra. Here we have one cubic known x cube plus x plus 1 equal to 0 whose roots are x1, x2, x3. Then it is said to find out this expression value. So let's get started by considering this is our required expression E. Now I will write roots of this cubic equation as x1, x2 and x3. We can use Vita's method to find out sum of roots x1 plus x2 plus x3. This will be equal to minus times the coefficient of x square over the coefficient of x cube. I will get 0. Sum of roots taken two at a time. I will write x1, x2 plus x2, x3 plus x3, x1. This will be equal to c over a. I will write 1 here. And product of roots will be equal to minus d over a. We will write negative 1. So these three equations are known to us 1, 2 and 3. Now if I have to evaluate x1 power 11 plus x2 power 11 plus x3 power 11 using algebraic identities it is not going to easy work. So I will use Newton's method or Newton's formula way. Here we need to consider two most important equations. First one is sp equal to x1 power p plus x2 power p plus x3 power p. This is the most important equation in case of higher order summation solving means the roots with higher powers. Now we will write our second equation from this cubic itself we can write s of n plus 3 plus in place of x we will be writing s of n plus 1 and in place of 1 we will be writing s n. Now from these two equations we are going to calculate s of 11. This is nothing but s of 11. Once I will put p equal to 11 here we will get our required expression that is why it is s of 11. So our target is to find out S11. Now I will write SP equation. Let me write here SP equal to x1 power p plus x2 power p plus x3 power p. Now I will put p equal to 0. We will calculate S of 0. So I can write x1 power 0 plus x2 power 0 plus x3 power 0. So I can write here 1 plus 1 plus 1. S0 will become 3. Similarly, by plugging p equal to 1, we will be able to find out S1. This will be equal to x1 plus x2 plus x3. Power is 1. This will be equal to sum of roots from Vita's equation number 1. We will write here 0. So I can write S1 equal to 0. This is our second result. Now we will plug in P equal to 2. So I can get S2. This will be equal to X1 power 2 plus X2 square plus X3 square. Now I can use algebraic formula. This will be equal to x1 plus x2 plus x3 whole square minus 2 times x1 x2 plus x2 x3 plus x3 x1. Now this is 0 and here we will be writing 1 equation 1 and equation 2. So we will get s2 equal to 0 square is 0 minus 2 times 1 
value will come out minus 2. So I can write S2 will be equal to minus 2. So we have S0 3, S1 0 and S2 minus 2. Let me write here. S0 3, S1 0 and S2 is equal to minus 2. This is minus 2. Now we are going to calculate S11. I will write Sn plus 3 equation plus Sn plus 1 plus Sn equal to 0. Now we will plug in n equal to 0 here. So we will write n equal to 0. We will get S of 0 plus 3. We can write S3 plus S of 0 plus 1. We can write S1 plus S of 0 equal to 0. From here, we will calculate S3. S1 is known, 0. So, I will write here plus 0. S0 is 3. We will write here plus 3 equal to 0. So, I can write the value of S3 will become minus 3. Now, we will plug in n equal to 1. I can write S4 plus S2 plus S1 equal to 0. Now we will calculate S4 from here. S4 will be S2 is minus 2. S1 is 0. So I can write directly S4 will be equal to 2. S3 is minus 3. S4 is 2. Now we will plug in n equal to 2. So let me write here n equal to 2. We will get S of n plus 3, 2 plus 3 is 5, plus S of n plus 1, 3, plus S of n. So, we will write 2 equal to 0. From here, we will calculate S5 value. Now, S3 is minus 3, so I will write minus 3. S2 is minus 2, we will write here minus 2 equal to 0. So, from here, we will be getting S5 equal to 5. Now we will put n equal to 3. We can write s of n plus 3 will be 6, n plus 1 will be 4 and n is 3. So we will write here s3 equal to 0. We will calculate s6 from this equation. s4 is 2 and s3 is minus 3 equal to 0. So I can write the value of S6 will become 1. Now we will plug in n equal to 4. We will write our equation S of 4 plus 3, 7 plus S of n plus 1, 4 plus 1, S of 5 plus S4 equal to 0. From here we will calculate S of 7. S5 is 5. Here it is. We will write 5. S4 is 2. We have already calculated equal to 0. So I can write the value of S7 will come out minus 7. Now we have to plug in n equal to 5. So I will write n equal to 5. Equation will become S of 8 plus S of 6 plus S of 5 equal to 0. From this equation, we will calculate S8. S6 is known. This is plus 1. And S5 is also known. This is 5. So, we will write here the value of S8 will become negative 6. Now, we have to plug in n equal to 6. We will write equation S of n plus 3. 6 plus 3 is 9. Plus S of n plus 1, 6 plus 1 is 7, plus S of n, so S6 will be equal to 0. Now we know that S7 is minus 7 and we are going to calculate S9 from here. S6 is plus 1 equal to 0. So I can write the value of S9 will become 6. 
now we have to calculate s of 11 so i need to plug in n equal to 8 directly so i will write here s of n plus 3 8 plus 3 is 11 plus s of n plus 1 8 plus 1 is 9 plus s of 8 this is equal to 0 now s8 is known s9 is also known we can calculate s11 so s11 plus 6 minus 6 equal to 0 this will be cancelled out we will get our answer s11 equal to 0 i hope friends you will like this video thank you so very much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck take care bye bye